word don't change. Now y'all want to pick and choose when Gentile in the Bible means Israelite? It makes no sense that we're going to pull your car. We're going to expose you lies that are holding this world. To the, for, for, for face to face, we're going to expose you. Go over to YouTube, it's face to face. Jokers talk about why y'all didn't say that when y'all went out to visit e, uh, GMS. Understand this, this brother Tahar wouldn't even come talk to us. We went down there for the fellowship so we could come to the knowledge and truth. So we could break down and walk through these scriptures. Brother didn't want no part of that. Uh, the Hanaba wanted to have a council or, or a fellowship dead smack and all that chaos on their set. Like we coming to them for knowledge. Understand this. Understand this. And we're not puffed up on this side. Nor are we prideful. But this is all about for the defense of this gospel. Alright? Something you guys are putting out incorrectly. Read it again. First Timothy 2 and 2. First Timothy 2 and 1. I exhort therefore that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men. Paul, for kings. And for all that are in authority. Kings and for all that are in authority. Let's go for the presidents, the prime ministers, the kufi or whatever, the caliphs, whomsoever that's in power. This is for all mankind to get this word. Because understand this, the government of the Most High is going to be established above all governments, above all nations. And all nations are going to have to come unto this, to the knowledge of truth, which is this word. Amen. That we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all goodness and in honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of the Most High. So we, so we can live in all purity, holiness, which is purity, and with what? In honesty. Living a, a straight up life, man. We're not cutting corners. We're not picking and choosing which scriptures we want to bring out. We're going to bring out this whole word. Understand this. Line upon line, precept upon precept. You guys don't even have line upon line. Here a little and there a little. For you guys, it's too much here a little, there a little. Just precepts. Your, your, your lessons have no fruit within them. And you're not getting, you're not edifying the church. Understand this. Read it. First Timothy two and three. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of the Most High, our Savior. For this is good in the sight of the Most High. That we make prayers, intercessions, supplications for all men, not just Israel. Read it. Who will have all men to be saved? Who will have all men to be saved? Read that verse again. First Timothy two and four. Who will have all men to be saved? And to come to the and, and, and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Now we understand that all men are not going to be saved. We understand that many shall be called, the few are going to be chosen. But the Lord didn't purpose it that way. He would have all men to get this knowledge. Alright? And to get this understanding. But we understand that all mankind are not going to get this. Not even all Israel is going to get this. Two-thirds of Israel is going to die. But you guys might be a part of that two-thirds. The way you guys are screaming on everybody. It's not about that. We get to Philippians again. But the way you're putting this word out is insincere and it's not in all honesty. You guys are lying. Every time you talk about a Gentile is another uh, Israelite, you are just saying it. You have no scriptural evidence on it. You just come out with it out your mouth. Philippians 1 15. Some indeed preach Christ, even of empty. And strife. And some for also a good will. Some people just love the, the strife. And some people love to just put it out just to support all people, just to show them, yeah, I, I got more understanding than you. You don't know nothing. I've been doing this for 20 years. So what you've been down for 20 years? You've been lying for 20 years? You've been lying about this word for 20 years? We're not going about 10 years here. All these brothers here got a good over 15 years on this side, 17 years on this side. Wait, you know, past that, but we ain't going to go about on 10 years. Look, look, we're not going on, on how long we've been down. Because understand this, if you've been down 20, 30, 40 years, and you've been lying about the scripture, and you have never been reborn, you're not even a fetus yet. You understand this? You have never been reborn, and you have never come to true knowledge of Christ. Understand this, your lessons don't even revolve around Christ. You're always talking about just is right. I read it. Philippians 1.16 one preach Christ of contention, 
That's sincere. That's sincerely. All you want to do is contention. Where do contentions come from? Where do contentions come from? Satan. Satan. That's the man that want to be all contentious about everything. Read it. 16. The one preach Christ of contention, not sincerely. Not sincerely. Supposing to add affliction to my body. Supposing to add affliction to my body, like you're going to cause me to feel bad. Understand this. We're not, we're not going to feel ashamed about the fact that we're putting out that all nations can come to the knowledge of this truth. We're not going to feel bad about what we're putting forth because we know we're reading it out these scriptures and we're living it. Understand that. We're reading it and we're living it. Read it. Philippians 1.17 But the other of love. But the other of love, of charity. Putting this work in because you love the truth and you want to you wanna work through any situation to get somebody else to get the salvation. That's what it's about, people. It ain't about you. It ain't about your conscience, your mind, your understanding, your knowledge. It's not about that. It's about getting everybody to get to one page, one mind, one judgment. You got all these different religions that are, uh, that are a break off of this, that are derivative works of this. Alright? Read Knowing that I am sent to the deep end of the gospel. Knowing that we sent to the deep end of the gospel. As we hold this word, we're going to preach it. We're not going to hold it back. We're not going to be like, like you Israelites that just coming out of the woodworks that have been down for 20, 30 years and feel like, oh, okay, now i got to go preach. You know what the Lord said to a person that's holding this word and that's not putting it out? Read it. 2 Corinthians 4 and 13. We have the same spirit of faith. 4 and 13. 2 okay. Corinthians 4 and 13. We have in the same spirit of faith. Stop listen for a while. According to okay. <laughs> I believe and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore we speak. I mean, as we get this understanding that we believe, we're going to speak this word. We're not going to hold our tongues. We're not going to we're not gonna hold certain scriptures back from the people. I mean, you jokers are funny how you can read over these scriptures and then lie about it. Oh, that the nation here is talking about uh, uh, Israel. Taha. Simple. Simple. Make no sense for you to even lie about this word like that. Come on. We have verse again from the top. Second Corinthians 4 and 13. First Corinthians we have in the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe, but therefore have I spoken. Come on. We also believe, but therefore speak. That's why we're going to speak. We're going to put this word out, but we ain't going to deal with contentions. We're not trying to fight with you about this. We're not trying to beat you in the head to try to get you to understand. I mean, come on, man. 